Hey there, it's Nicola Milan and this is Singer's Secret TV, where you'll get professional advice for improving your singing and making it as a singer. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can start singing in your head voice. Many singers find that they can naturally sing in their chest voice, but if you're having problems actually tapping in to your head voice and getting it to work at all, then this video is for you. Now when we talk about chest voice and head voice, all we're really talking about is where you're resonating the sound within your body, which is your instrument. So you don't actually have two separate voices. All it means is that your, for your head voice, you're kind of placing the sound more in your head when you're resonating it, and when you're using your chest voice, you're placing the sound more in your mouth and down, kind of, and it feels like it's resonating in your chest, which is why we call it chest voice. The reason people can get chest voice more naturally than head voice sometimes is because your chest voice is your natural, is very close to your natural speaking voice. So if you can speak, you can usually sing in your chest voice. So a chest voice sound would sound like this. La 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 la. Okay, that's just a really natural, very close to my natural speaking voice. Easy chest voice. Whereas a head voice sounds like this. La 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 la. Or even higher. So you've got that really kind of like, you know, opera kind of sound, you know. Um, a lot of singers find that their, their head voice is quite weak and airy as well when they first start out using it. So I will do another video on how to strengthen your head voice, but in this video we're just concentrating on how to actually get it working. So I'm going to show you a method that is really natural and really easy to tap into your head voice with because we use it naturally in our own lives. And this is kind of what I, I like to teach a lot of my students is um, I show them how to do certain singing techniques by applying them to, to situations that we would use in real life because singing should be very easy and it is a very natural thing and it isn't very far removed from what you usually do every day anyway. So, when we talk to babies, we naturally use our head voice. So when we say things like, kitty kitty ki, oh, that is so cute, oh, what a little baby, I'm naturally using my head voice. So I want you to have a go at that now. I know it looks stupid, but in singing, we always do things that look silly. So have a go at going kitty kitty ki and feel where it's resonating. Oh, you cute, oh, you're so cute, ah, oh, you know. <laughs> This is all using my head voice very, very naturally. Then once you've got your coochie coochie coo placement going, because this is all just helping you actually achieve a head voice placement, then we're going to turn that into an exercise. So we're going to go like this. So sort of coochie coochie coo, we're going to go coochie coochie coo, coochie coochie coo. So we're turning it into a bit of a, a scale here instead. So just have a go with this. Do a few with me. Coochie coochie coo, coochie coochie coo. Coochie coochie coo. Have a go. One more time. Just throw it up there. Should be very easy, very natural. Then once you've done that a few times, we're going to move on and we're going to turn our coochie coo into a neigh sound. And the reason we use a neigh is because it, it forces the sound to come quite far forward and it raises your soft palate as well, which is um, excellent for helping you achieve a nice clear high head note sound. Same exercise, it's going to sound like this. And that essentially is how you tap into your head voice. So you will need to do this a few times and if you find that you're slipping out, just go back to doing the coochie coochie coo to get the head voice placement and then move on to the other two exercises that I've shown you after that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please make sure you subscribe because I do put up new videos all the time and you don't want to miss out. 
Also, if you would like some more free professional advice for improving your singing and making it as a singer, make sure you head on over to my website, singersecret.com and hop onto my email list because I do put extra singing tips and secrets into my emails that I do not share anywhere else and you don't want to miss out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Nicola Milan and I'll talk to you again soon.